the pressure is on, though. Or the stress, or whatever it is. Oh, boy. <laughs> you guys aren't home. Oh, how's my status is doing? Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, Jin. Oh, crap. Now my art skill is not satisfactory enough. Come on, man. Don't do that to me. I wish I could go sketch, but... Oh, a science documentary. It should be fun. Right? Because science makes you more artistic. Wish I had known that. Would have watched more science shows. Okay. I'm worried about Jihei disappearing on me. Hey, Jihei. Just gonna talk to you safely. I'm preparing dinner. Let me help you. That would be easier than just doing everything on your own. How about broccoli salad for dinner? I have a feeling this bunny likes broccoli quite a bit. Jin likes apples and Jihei likes broccoli. And I don't know what Ji Woo likes. Alright. Jihei again. I can smile! Beautiful smile, my lady. You look exhausted, my lady. Please sit down. I could bring you some tea if you are feeling tired, my lady. Oh, you would rather have coffee. Yes, I will get it for you. Hey! You are perfect. Bringing me coffee? I much prefer coffee to tea. Oh, I've got a heart! Thank everything. Okay. I can go out with my bunny because I need more points with him. Um, but where do I want to go is the question. Let's go to the beach. We haven't gone to the beach. Although, I haven't got a bikini. Oh, I still need to look for stickers though. The bikini thing is not going to do much right now. Yes. Yes, to the beach. The weather is getting colder. You'd better dress warmly. That's just as why I didn't buy a bikini. <laughs> That woman, she's wearing something strange. Eek! A bikini! Jian, you mustn't look! Isn't she cold, though? He's a, he's a grown-up bunny man. He can look at girls in bikinis. I ain't the jealous type. Yes, she must have a strong willpower. <laughs> oh, I can't wear my bikini and join her, I guess. But I got some stickers. I mean, stamps. I think I've always been calling them stickers, but they're actually stamps. All right. I like the fact that the ocean is nearby. We walked a lot today. Aren't you tired? Uh, not really, man. I mean, it's, it's all right. Okay. What to do? It's Sunday, so you shouldn't be here. So I guess I'll go to work. Keep getting that money. Art for beginners! I'm gonna use that. Yes, please, because my art skill is apparently not satisfactory enough. Boo. And you're home. Um, status items. Use. Um, do I have anything else in here that I need? I don't think so. Ah, you're satisfied now with my art skill. Living on the edge, though. Um, okay, I'm relieved. And you, I gotta find. I saw that mouse pad to give you. All right, let's give you a mouse pad. Oh, what are you thinking? I'll do that next time. I really want to give you the mouse pad before I forget. Here you go. Oh, three hearts! He really likes his own merchandise. <laughs> I can feel your warm heart from this gift. I'll treasure it. Oh, the clothes? I hope that the clothes become clean. I feel happy when the clothes turn white after washing. <laughs> don't get any ideas now. You have a bath. You don't hop into the laundry machine. And my, my gauge. Let's see. Documentary, nap, or makeup. 
Eh, how about we just decrease pressure? Something boring. Alright. Are you here? Yeah, Jiyun. What are you thinking, baby? Sky. Oh, the clothes. The clothes smell pleasant. I can smell with my eyes closed. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that would be because you can smell with your nose, so... Yeah. Science. See, it's that science documentary I walked. I, I walked? Watched? Uh... I do wonder how June can play blackjack so well. I'm thinking about going to the store, actually. Seeing what I can find. What is that? Necktie pin. No, take us to the island. I'm wondering about selling these little forks. I don't know why I keep these things. This is just junk. And I don't actually get any points for it. I mean points money. But it's kinda useless. So... That actually got me some money. the leaf. I don't know why. I just like it. I got so many pick-me-ups. Oh my goodness. Do I need that many pick-me-ups? I'll sell one. Maybe I'll buy a bikini. Alright. Now I have the option, if I so choose, to don my bikini and be strong-willed. Strong-willed lady. Okay. You both are on the balcony. Just gotta make sure not to get more than one heart with you, Jihei. Get all confuzzled. Nope. I'll just smile at you. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's today a laundry day. Let me give you a hand. Does this shirt belong to the cat who loves oranges? The design is a bit childish. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna really like Jihei's root. I don't know, he's growing on me the more I'm interacting with him. I gotta stay focused on Baby Bun. Baby Bun, I haven't forgotten about you. Hey, Jun. Um, I guess we'll continue to ask you what you're thinking. Eddie. Yes, I am watching it. To feel bored. I'm not quite sure what that feels like. <laughs> really? Wow, jealous. So he's thinking about Eddie. He's still thinking about letting him go. No, don't let him go. I like Eddie. I mean, gee, hey, I'm not allowed to call him Eddie. Let's not speak of it ever again. Let's go to the park instead. You and me. Yes. Oh! What? Oh, there's leaves falling! That's so neat! The weather is nice. <gasps> is that lunch? Apples? For me? I feel good thanks to you. Aww. R really? Or y yeah? I don't know. What's the difference between these two? Or maybe this is cuter? Y yeah? Don't be shy. Just stay as you are. Aww, that was kind of cute. I think that was good. Let's look around. We've got a stamp. And some more leaves. I like the fresh air. I guess it makes sense I found leaves since it's fall. It was fun. Take me next time as well. I will. I'll always take you, baby. Always. But you're not here today. I don't know why I keep checking. I wonder if Jian likes leaves at all. He was always uh, staring at them when he was a rabbit. Another. Oh, I, yeah, I can also give you ribbon. I forgot about that. Got ribbons to give you. I should do that. That's probably nicer than leaves. I'm sure you'd like that a lot more. Speak of the devil. Here's a ribbon for ya. Three hearts! Aw, oh, he feels my warm heart again. And he'll treasure it. 
And he's watching it. Uh, this channel always makes me sleepy. But I like it because it's not loud. Understandable. I can relate. It's like background noise, basically. Oh boy, everybody's in the kitchen. Are you... Oh! Here. <gasps> Jian gave me the half-eaten broccoli from Jian. <laughs> Dude! You can't give me your half-eaten broccoli. That's gross. Jihei's in here. You're not getting away with this. He's gonna be like, I saw what Young Master did. <laughs> give me back that broccoli. I'm sneaking it back into his apples. Uh, it's okay. I have apples. That's not the point, man. You don't give somebody half-eaten food. I'm not your mom. Good grief. Uh, let's look at this half-eaten broccoli from Jiyun. Cost zero dollars. Yum. <laughs> I liked it better when you gave me the dandelion from Jiyun. I gave you a ribbon and a mouse pad and you give me some half-eaten broccoli. It's gross, man. Uh, at least you're still satisfied with me. <sighs> Honestly, though. I'm gonna go have a bath. I haven't had a bath in forever. Ah, oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells of beauty. <laughs> Be ambitious! Alright, I will be. Are you in here? Uh huh! What are you thinking today? Are you thinking about that broccoli you gave me? Nope, still thinking about Eddie. The refrigerator. I ate it thinking it was an apple. But it was actually a fruit called peach. <laughs> I thought he ate the refrigerator. I'm like, how did you manage to chew through that, exactly? So you ate a peach, eh? What did you think of it? Oh, we got two hearts now! Heejun wants to protect Jian. Aww, so sweet. Hey, Jian. You still thinking about Eddie? No, dear. Dear. Oh, the clothes? I hope they're clean, because it makes me happy when they're clean and not dirty. Like that half-eaten piece of broccoli I gave you. Never throw it away. <laughs> Alright, a new scene. It was already Saturday. Time flew after school had started. The cats and the rabbits seemed to be enjoying the same life, though. My lady. He changed his outfit. Where was he going? Yes? Are you going somewhere? I... Uh, it was unlike Jihei to hesitate. Don't give him too many apples. Apples? To Jian? Mm -hmm. I hadn't given too much. I just gave it to him whenever he asked for it. Was that too many? Probably. If he eats too much sugar, he could become... Aggressive. Oh no! Oh no! Please don't tell me sweet Jian is a Yandere. No! Aggressive? Jian? Aggressive? Well, you weren't there, He Jung, but there was another cute little little guy named Yano. He was cute, and then he became aggressive, and he also had red eyes. Oh no. Oh no, such, such worry now. Ugh. No way. How can Jian become aggressive? In fact, I would feed him more apples if that would make him a bit aggressive. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Don't do it. I've never seen Jiyun being loud and noisy before. Because of the apples that you gave him yesterday, he moved three times more than he usually does. Three times? Um, does that make any difference? Anyway, no more than two apples in a day. Jihei said flatly, avoiding my question. Please, my lady. Uh, okay. I think you're kind of- It's apples! It's not like it's candy! By the way, where are you going? I have work. Even during the weekends? Yes, I think I'll be even busier from now on. Aren't you working too much? I don't understand why Jihei's working so hard. Is work so important to him that he's leaving Jiyun in the house even during the weekends? 
we can't burden you forever. Burden? I hadn't expected that word. So he was thinking about leaving. I guess we all can't continue to live here forever. I suddenly felt a little lonely. Okay, but don't work too hard. Jiyun misses you when you're not home. Jiyun would run to Jihei whenever he came home from work. And he wouldn't leave Jihei's side. Jiyun seems very lonely when Jihei's not around. I see. Jihei lowered his head. Is he worried? Is your work going well? Isn't it difficult? At first, I didn't know why I'm doing something like this. But I've gotten used to it. It's fine. Doesn't know. You don't have models in your world? We do, but it's not for anyone like me. Anyone like you? Surely Jihei was casted because of his gorgeous looks. My lady. Yes? I'd like to ask you to take a good care of young master. I smiled as Jihei sounded like Jiyun's parent. <laughs> I'm never going to be as good as you, though. It's like Jiyun needs you. Was I taking good care of Jiyun? Do you really think so? Huh? Do you really think I always have to be with young master? Jihei's concerned face reminded me of Jiyun. Freddy... When Jian was saying those words, he looked both lonely and mature. He was saying that he should let Jihei go. Young master, is he alright when I'm not there? And only with you? I don't think Jihei ever talked this much before. He's asking me so many questions, this is unusual. Jihei is worried about Jian. Is he having a hard time? Or lonely? Jihei... I felt touched by Jihei's concern. I can't be certain that Jian isn't being lonely or having a hard time. But... I don't think Jihei has to worry. Jian is okay, I think. I see. These days, Young Master often talks about you. Really? Me? About me? Really? Jihei nodded his head slightly. He said you've got even less energy than I. Less energy? <laughs> Does he mean that I'm not as strict as Jihei? But they talk about me. For some reason it made me a bit happy, and look, even Jihei's smiling at me. Oh, that's so sweet. I see. Please take a good care of him. Oh, he's so serious again. Although he still can't communicate well with others. Like Jihei said, both he and Jian are not that close to other people. Jihei is a bit better than Jian. Sometimes I can't tell whether Jian even has emotions and feelings. I sometimes become surprised by how emotionless he seems. Just like a porcelain doll. By the way, Jian is really different from his peers. Is it how he is naturally? Uh, was Jian always that quiet? Young master. Jihei paused for a moment. He changed a lot. As he grew up. Oh no. I hate when the music stops. It gets so serious. As he grew up. He experienced many things that a normal child would never experience. Things that a normal child would never experience. And he began to talk less as he became older. He was very expressive when he was young, but... I couldn't know the details, but it seemed like Jiyun had an unhappy childhood. Was that why he was so quiet and machine-like? I have to get going now. Okay. Please keep the promise about apples. <laughs> Jihei reminded me once again. All right. Take care. I smiled and replied, but became very curious. Jiyun becomes aggressive? Is that really true? If it is, I would like to see it at least once. Oh my goodness, don't do it! You masochist! Oh, I'm so close to. Is that why he doesn't express himself? He doesn't want to get close and get hurt? What happened to you, though? What happened, baby? Oh dear. 
There are many families here. I want to go in. Families? Oh, I'm getting so sad. Ah, oh, this is interesting. Really? I don't know. I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. Yes, I think so too. Yes, it's unique. I like it. Let's look around. Ah, uh, I see you, Stamp, hiding under that dust. And some garbage. I'll look forward to your next picture. My next picture? Do I display my art there? I probably read about that before and forgotten. I'm hungry. I want apples. <laughs> but Gia said I can't give you more than two apples a day. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> I'm so concerned. Reference book novice acquired. And people just drop all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna never find these things when I'm actually cleaning in real life. Eighteen dollars. Let's use it. Oh, it just reduces pressure. Man, I could have sold that for like eighteen buckaroonies. Uh, I can't view it or use it or anything. Um. Oh, actually, I wanted to check. Okay, still satisfied. I guess I'll go have a nap. I stared outside the window. Oh, a plastic bag is flying in the air. It increases my beauty to consider that plastic bag. Hmm. Um. What to do? I should do a major house cleaning after the bath. You should have done a major house cleaning before the bath, because now you're going to be all stinky after you house clean majorly. Then you're going to need another bath. Uh, it's just trouble. Trouble all around is what it is. Oh, I dozed off for a bit. I should start getting ready to go out. <laughs> oh dear. Um, pressure's increasing. I really gotta level up my art and beauty a lot more. Um, still the same? Okay. Oh, it's cold! How come only the cold water is coming out? Ugh, it's so cold. But still, I increase my beauty and femininity. That freezing cold bath. Oh, only you guys are home today. Interesting. Um, well, I'll go sketch, because I haven't done that in a while. I drew the summer beach. Yay, my heart my heart gauge increased. But I'm still gonna go out with you, baby bunny. Let's go to the university. He always says yes. I like the fresh mountain air, but it is hard to climb up a mountain. Do you have mountains where you're from? I like this place because it's quiet. Um, I can concentrate well here too. Yes, I can see that. Seems legit. Ugh. What is this? He chase eyeglass cloth? Dude, how many of these did you lose? Ugh, no stamps. Just some dust. What can I do with Heejay's eyeglass cloth? Did you draw well today? I don't know. I'm sleepy. Oh, but you didn't ask for apples, so you must have been really tired. Um, just a moment. Well, look at this eyeglass cloth. It costs nothing. I don't know. I don't know anymore. 
Um, go to work, I guess. I got another ribbon to give him at some point when the points change again. Anyway, we've got nap, makeup. Uh, how about take a nap? Um, how about take a bath? <laughs> Be? Bzz. Being in the tub for too long makes me hungry. What's have I eat in the, in the fridge? Uh, I'm hungry too. Ugh, I've got nothing in my fridge. Wish I had some potato chips. Oh, sad face. Oh, hey, Jean. How about we talk? I'm going to bed. Sketchbook. The sound of the pencil. It's not bad. It makes me sleep. <laughs> You're not sleeping on my bed, are you? Yeah. What do, I guess they turn into animals when they sleep. So I'm like, we don't have extra beds. Well, I don't know what this extra room is. Um, okay. And I'll take a nap. Or, yeah. I should rest on the sofa for a while. I'm sleepy. I should just get some sleep and energize myself. Okay. It moderately increases my beauty. Good to know. Still the same old, same old sketch. Here it goes. I drew a picture titled Cereal Human Feed. Oh dear. Well, I don't even want to know what that looked like. <laughs> um, sketch some more. Why not? I drew a sleeping baby squirrel. That's much better than Cereal Human Feed. Alright, we're gonna continue going out to try and find the ever elusive stamps. I'm glad you're always up for stamp hunting with me. Do you like books? I like books that Eddie reads me. Aww, so cute. A picture book. That's called a comic book. Where are those reference books? Yes. Interesting. I gotta show interest in what he's interested in. Let's see. We got a stamp. Ooh! Oh, we got the Ost! Sweet! <laughs> Love our fire! Sketch 365. Is that a calendar? Some interesting books in here. Ah, uh, dust. Why not? Because we can. I'll hold them. Oh, thank you. No, they're not heavy. Uh, please open the door, though, because my hands are full. I will do that. You're still not around on the weekends. I got, that I got another pick-me-up. Such pick-me-ups. <gasps> another scene! Hooray! Today I came out to the park with Jian. Even though it's still October, the wind is quite chilly. I brought my sketchbook as well. Since the midterms are over, I might as well as draw as much as I want. Jian sat next to me and looked up at the sky. Amazing. Huh? What's amazing? Nothing is in the sky. Oh. It's a clear day. I looked up at the sky as well. A cloudless blue autumn sky. Yeah, the sky is usually like this in the autumn. Autumn... sky... Jian mumbled with a blank expression on his face. It's like Eddie. Like Jihei? Why? Eddie's eyes are perfect blue. One of Jian's habits is that if there is something he likes, he always related it with Jihei. Last time he commented that the way the clouds are shaped is pretty, and added that it looks similar to the cotton candy that Jihei had bought for him. If he likes some food, he talks about the food that Jihei cooked for him. If the TV plays a music that he likes, he says the music reminds him of Jihei. Jian always thinks of Jihei when he finds something that he likes. What is your relationship? He told me last time that he needs to let Jihei go. For some reason, I cannot forget what he said. 
I get reminded of those words whenever I see Jian. What was Jian thinking when he said those words? Jian? Mm -hmm. You know, when you said that you have to let Jian, uh, Jihei go, Jian looked so sad all of a sudden that I stopped talking. D did I mention something unnecessary? Probably. Aw, he does look so sad. Yeah. Jian looked at me. If you don't want to talk about it, it's okay not to talk. Jian didn't avoid my gaze. Does he mean that it's okay to talk about it? About letting him go... I don't understand what it means. Are you trying to keep your distance from him? Jiyun blinked his eyes. <laughs> oh no, it got quiet again. Eddie cannot be happy next to me. Cannot be happy? So I have to let him go. Eddie's <laughs> Eddie's eyes, oh my goodness. You are like the worst with names. Jiyun's eyes seem sad. Why do you think Jihei cannot be happy next to you? That's... Jian stopped talking, and he stretched his hand towards the grass. Hmm? Jian picked a dandelion flower. I already ruined Eddie's happiness once. What? Jian ruined Eddie's happiness? Was there like a lady bunny that he really liked and... He had to choose between marrying her or continuing to look after you, and he chose you. Oh, that would be so sad. What happened in the past? I wanted to ask, but didn't know if I could. Jiyun quietly stared at the dandelion. What do you call this? It's called a dandelion. It's pretty. It's like a cotton ball. Jiyun touched the seed head. It's soft. Jiyun had a faint smile on his face as if he likes it. It reminds me of Eddie. <laughs> and Jiyun closed his eyes. Is he thinking about Jihei? He looked somewhat sad. Feeling that I shouldn't bother him, I turned to my sketchbook. I moved my pencil across the sketchbook. He said the autumn sky is blue, and that the dandelion flower is pretty. He said it reminds him of Jihei. But Jiyun said he has to let Jihei go. What went on in the past that made him think that way? Dear. Surprised by Jian's voice, I turned my head to the side. Jian was staring at my sketchbook, calmly. Dear? I looked at the sketchbook and noticed that the lines that I drew were forming a shape similar to that of a deer. <laughs> it does look like a deer. Draw it. Huh? Draw a deer. A deer? Mm-hmm. Do you like deer? Uh, there are no deer in my kingdom. Kingdom? So he did come from a society with royalty. A place with no deer. I wonder what kind of a place it is. Have you seen a deer before? Well, obviously, since he's like, it looks like you're drawing a deer, please draw one. Uh, only once. You've only seen it once, but you must have liked it, huh? It was a sad-looking animal. Deer? Yes. He thinks deer are sad-looking. I wonder how the world looks in Jian's eyes. I had the feeling that the world seen through Jian's eyes must be different from what the others see. Jian, how does the world look in your eyes? I'm curious. Why do his beautiful eyes look so empty? He's such a beautiful person, but why won't he smile? Why did he think that the deer is sad looking? I wanted to know a lot more about Jiyun. Do you like any other animals? Mm. Jiyun closed his mouth. How about animals that you don't like? Cats. <laughs> Just as I suspected. Jihei does not seem to care for them either. Why? Cats are noisy. They always make trouble. And rabbits. Oh, but they're your own kind. You don't like them? Jian looked at the sky. I hate rabbits. They're calculative and think too much. I... I 
want to be an animal without thoughts. Oh. I want to be an animal without feelings. What? And animals without thoughts and feelings? But that's not how an animal is. Why is Jian suddenly saying this? But if you have no thoughts and feelings, you won't know what's happy and what's delicious either. At the same time, you can escape from your sufferings. Sufferings? You escape from hate, sorrow, as well as responsibility and guilt. Hate and sorrow? Responsibility and guilt? What kind of life has Jiyun had? What kind of past made Jiyun think that he doesn't want to think and feel? To wish that he wouldn't think and feel? That's... Ah... Uh, right. Come to think of it, I thought of those things as well. I had the same thought before. <laughs> oh wow, he's like, what? Jian, who was looking up at the sky, stole a glance at me. Did you? Yes. I once wished that I would become deaf. Jian's eyes widened as if he was surprised. The things people said made me confused then. I wondered if my life would become better if I did everything they told me to. Do this a certain way. Do that another way. I didn't know if anything they said were helping me in any way. The things mom and the teachers would say when I was in high school. Keep your grades up. Practice your writing skills. Do this. Do that. They burdened me with set standards and made me feel guilty if I didn't act according to it. So it was suffocating. At that time, I was like... a puppet. Uh, I'm sorry for telling you such a heavy story. Jian blinked his eyes. You are amazing. What do you mean? You can still smile despite your sad past. Aw, it's true, He Jung, you're a real trooper. You still smile and you laugh and... Man, what, how bad of a past did you have, Jian? That's... I think it's admirable. You deserve to be praised. Aw, her face! She's just so... <gasps> oh. I stopped at Jian's words. Praised? I'm not familiar with being praised. Oh, this is so sad. <laughs> and it's not just coming from anyone else, but from Jian. My face was getting hot. Jian suddenly seems like a mature man. Jian, you've got the talent to surprise people. Hmm? Unlike your first impression, you're so mature. The way you think about Jihei, the things you said to me now. My candor made Jian lower his head. It's like him telling you you're admirable. I don't know. Is he shy? Though Jian still had no expression on his face, I felt that he looked very cute at the moment. Oh, that moment. Bonding. Oh, such bonding. Oh.